As a product owner, your responsibility is to keep the product the current. Requirements are kept typically in order list. Uh, this is very typical in Scrum. However, uh, to find the focus on work that needs to be done, such a list can be pretty long, especially for more complex products. As a product owner, you are lost very soon. Therefore, uh, you need to find out some other way how to keep your backlog organized. One of the techniques is called user story mapping and uh, it has been developed by Jeff Patton, which is a great form of requirements organization. It offers the possibility to break down large requirements epics into smaller user st stories. It also supports possibility to order user stories in such an epic and to set up priorities this way. It is even possible to plan multiple releases and sprints at the same time. Because of visibility of this technique, we decided to include it in Scrum Desk Start. So, to start with, what, the first thing what you need to do is to click Story Map uh, in Scrum Desk Start. You will see an empty desk uh, which will have uh, multiple commands. There is uh, one uh, special command, it's called an assigned epic. In Scrum Desk Start, the first row displays all the epics. Epics are the large requirements which needs to be broken down. Let's say that we are going to implement simple CRM system. So the first thing what we are going to do is to add multiple epics into it. Uh, of course, our system should be focused on uh, clients. So the first thing uh, will be uh, some client, man client management. Then we are going to offer some products. Of course, these products we will want to sell and therefore another part of the product will be concentrated on sales support. And the last thing will be maybe about uh, invoicing. Maybe we decided that uh, we need additional things as well and uh, one of them might be a kind of task man management. And a task management is maybe more important the, for the product at the beginning than a sale because uh, there needs to be some task done before the sales is uh, completed. Therefore, we can change the order of the epics based on the priorities uh, according your requirements. What you can do as well is to change the color of the epic and uh, therefore you can have much better visibility in your product backlog and you will be oriented much faster later when the product backlog will be very complex. So we created epics at the beginning, uh, however this is not enough. Uh, typically the product grooming session, backlog grooming session is done with all team members and there are tons of ideas uh, during it. You can enter them directly in Scrum Desk Start and organize these ideas uh, into epics as well. So let's say that for the client management, the first thing what we need to do is to register a new client. Maybe later you will need to also change details of such client uh, records. And so the second change uh, client's details. And as this is CRM, we don't want to delete the data, we would like to just archive them, especially at the beginning. Maybe later we will add possibility to delete the data. During the brainstorming session, you will realize that uh, it will be much easier to implement uh, at the first permanent delete of data than uh, archive of data. And you can change the priorities uh, simply by drag and drop. Of course, you can uh, add additional details like a user story uh, format, uh, set up priorities, set up Moscow, business value and others as well. But for the brainstorming session, especially you know, when you are trying to organize your ideas, uh, it is enough for now. Uh, later, we can uh, concentrate on the products, so we will need to register new product. Uh, this will be done. Uh, 
by our sales department probably and uh, we can maybe organize these products into product categories as we mentioned we can change the order inside the epic and also epics the user stories are moved with the epic as well such a map can be pretty large but sometimes you need more uh, details and we implemented therefore a simple switch where you can change uh, the number of details which are displayed on the card it is not right now visible because uh, we don't have uh, we didn't assign a lot of information here but later you will even see the status of the uh, story you will see who is working on it and you will see also the time necessary to complete the dead user story that way you can have the overall overview about the status of your product and comparing to traditional backlog it's not just the list of requirements which needs to be done but you will also see a list of requirements which are already done in your product so that might be a pretty huge map and of course if you are neat you can zoom out and zoom in uh, using uh, browser zoom menu and Scrum Desk support this uh, possibility as well. If you need, you can still filter your ideas. So if you need to see just ideas which needs to be done, which is typical Scrum uh, backlog list, then just click this uh, checkbox and you will see it, uh, all the user stories. If you need to filter by release or by sprint, you have that possibility here as well. The great thing about this is you, you can even print out these ideas on, in the form of uh, cards, physical cards, for your physical meeting with uh, your team or even uh, your stakeholders or clients. And therefore, this way you can very easily, uh, as a product owner, keep track and organize your backlog inside the tool plus having it uh, physically available for your team, which is quite handful, especially if uh, you have dozens of uh, team members in your team and you need to break down hundreds of uh, requirements during product gro grooming sessions.